Today I am trying the new summer Red Bull flavors. I have one more blue one over there. I just can't hold it in my hands because my hands are small. They're chubby but small. Um, I'm so excited. I have seen so many people on Snapchat like drinking these so bougie. So originally I was like, I want to be bougie and just get them. And I'm like, I should do a taste test because I've never tasted them. They're all new summer flavors. Summer edition. Biatch. Wait, no, maybe this one is just summer. <laughs> The other ones just say like red edition, yellow edition, but online it says their summer collection. This one literally just says summer edition, so maybe this is the one I've been seeing, the Kiwi Twist. So I'm actually gonna try this first because everybody is like, this is everything. Oh, by the way, these are not sugar free. My sister's like, this has sugar and calories. It has 160 calories. Like, ugh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, they're sugary, like energy drinks. So be careful, like drinking too much of them because I'm like obsessed with iced tea. These tea hobbit iced teas, I'm like obsessed. But they have like zero calories, no sweetener. It's like totally fine, no sugar. These I feel like I can become obsessed with and like. I want to be a good thing. I gained like 500 pounds, like legit. So, the first one I'm going to try is the Summer Edition Kiwi Twist. Got my little straw so I don't mess up my Marilyn Manson inspired lips. Okay, let's see. Ooh, mmm. Uh, okay, I love like green apple. I know it's not green apple, but I love like green apple flavored things. I don't really taste the kiwi. I don't even know if I've even eaten a kiwi ever. I feel like I never had a kiwi. It tastes like a green apple to me, but it might taste kiwi. I don't know because I've never had kiwi, but. Mmm. It's like a. It's kind of tastes like an apple teeny, which is what I like. Um, so this is amazing. I'm actually going to probably bring this one with me so I can Snapchat it and be bougie too, so I can be like, I'm a trendy. I have a kiwi Red Bull. This is actually amazing. Love. Okay, let's try the next ones. I'm making a McDonald's hash brown in my oven. <laughs> if you wanted it out, if you could hear the oven. Okay, this is the orange edition. This is a tangerine flavored. I like orange juice. I like Sunny Delight. Is that what tangerines are, right? They're like oranges, kind of. Let's see. So we'll see. Tangerine doesn't sound like an. I mean, I know they're different. Tangerine and oranges are different. I feel like I don't like tangerines because I feel like I've never had a tangerine, so I feel like I don't like it and I wouldn't like it, but let's see. Mmm. Oh. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like an orange crush. And I love orange crush. It is really yummy. I also just put these in the fridge like maybe 45 minutes ago so they're not to their coldest potential. So they're also a little warm tasting. So it's not like, oh my God, it's amazing. But it probably would be, oh my God, amazing if you like left it in the fridge a little longer. Um, I really like this one too. Um, they both have these like aftertaste that taste like a little bit like an alcoholic drink aftertaste, which I don't necessarily like the taste of it, the aftertaste of an alcoholic drink. So it's interesting. It's interesting. The aftertaste is interesting. The initial taste is really, really good. The aftertaste is interesting. And I guess it just tastes like Red Bull. I guess because I always have like Red Bull and vodka, which means like alcoholic, but it could be just like the Red Bull taste. Okay, let's try this one. This is the yellow edition and it says tropical. So that could mean anything. Initially, I like to think it could taste like Hawaiian punch. Oh, I gotta put a thong on. I have granny panties on under these pants, but to dance, I need the thong. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I shouldn't even have any underwear to dance, but that would be weird because what if it like ripped and I had no underwear? That would be not that it would rip because they're leggings, but you just never know. Okay, let's try this tropical. Mmm. It tastes like a Capri Sun, but it had a really weird initial taste. It's not what I expected it to taste like. Yeah, it tastes like a Capri Sun, which. It's like good, I guess. I wasn't expecting that taste. So, yeah. I would say kiwi and tangerine are tied right now. Kiwi is like good. I'm gonna say kiwi just because it's like the trendy thing to say. So I'm gonna say kiwi. But the tangerine is good too. All right, let's try blue edition. Blueberry, a blueberry energy drink sounds so, so gross. Um, sorry. <laughs> New phone case, hello, I'm gonna call Michael again. Michael and Michael and Marilyn Manson are like, uh-huh, everything to me at the moment. Anyways. It's not a favorites video. Blueberry energy drink sounds so disgusting, and I did not know it was blueberry. Ooh, I love that steam off of good energy drink. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, let's try. There it is. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh God, that's <laughs> ooh. It definitely tastes blueberry, but what does it taste like? It's like an artificial blueberry something that I've had before. It tastes like a. Oh my god, there it tastes. Oh my god. I really don't even like this, so I hate to keep drinking it. It's a very, very specific taste. <laughs> it's blueberry for sure, but it's not good. <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Mm. 
maybe it just smells like a blueberry chapstick or something. I don't know. It kind of almost tastes like blueberry chapstick, like how I would imagine blueberry chapstick to taste. It's got this really like almost a little bit cough medicine-y. It's blueberry though. It's blueberry AF. Like this is a blueberry drink. So yeah, vitalizes body and mind. Whew. That was not an appealing flavor. Like okay, tropical. Yeah, I can like kind of get down with. Like it kind of tastes weird at first. You're not expecting that, but whoo, whoo, that blueberry. Okay, so this is the red edition, and this is a cranberry Red Bull, which I love cranberry and vodka. So if this has any of that alcoholic aftertaste like those other ones had, I don't think I'm gonna like it. Um, I love that they came out with a cranberry one actually, because I love Red Bull and vodka, and I love cranberry and vodka. So actually putting this together, <laughs> you know what the alcoholic audience wants. They are catering to me. Okay, I feel like I'll really like this because I really love cranberry juice. Actually, I get that a lot when I like go out for breakfast and stuff. Okay, let's see. Ooh, and it's a very potent. Both this and the blueberry are very potently obvious, their flavor. It is cranberry. Um, if you get like the, is it Welch's? I'm not making my nose, I'm scratching it. People are like, don't make your nose. I'm scratching. Um, <laughs> cranberry. Yeah, if you get the Welch's cranberry juice, like that's pretty cranberry. This is like that on crack. Like it is extremely cranberry tasting. But again, it has that Red Bull aftertaste. I think it is an aftertaste of Red Bull. I don't think it's an aftertaste of alcohol. I know this is so itchy. I think it is, uh, <laughs> I probably look so gross, I'm sorry. It probably is like a Red Bull aftertaste, not alcohol. But this would be really, really good with alcohol. Like, I think this would be amazing. So, um, if you go out and try it, if you're an alcoholic, I would get this one because I bet it would taste amazing with vodka. However, I feel like this would taste amazing with vodka too. It would be a weird, different flavor. But I'm not gonna lie, like I actually do like the Kiwi Twist the best, not just because everybody loves it, but like I get why everybody loves it. Plus it looks bougie as fuck. The straw. The straw is a double dipper. It's a little hoe. The straw is a little hoe just going in every single can. Um, and it's also the most subtle flavor. It's not so like, bam, green apple or kiwi. It tastes like green apple to me. It's not so green apple in your face. It's very, um, it's a lot more subtle. It's a, it's a fruity drink. I like it. So I would say that. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Red Bull taste test of Summer, is summer almost over? I feel like YouTubers are always like a season ahead, like ready for fall. Like is summer almost over or like are we just starting summer? Like I don't even know. I'm in California so it really doesn't matter, but anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was a lot. I'm just like feeling it, like my heart and the sugar. I'm feeling all of it right now all of a sudden. So I'm gonna go ahead and go eat something. But I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. What should I try next? That is like special edition or cool. I love trying like cool new new things, like the mac and Cheetos. And like, I like trying like cool things that are out there. So if there's anything that cool that I should be trying, it's like a new for summer, like let me know. Um, yeah, anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you wanna see more of these videos, be sure to thumbs up that video. Flap is killing me today. Um, I think this is a pale flap. It's an untan flap. When flap is tan, it looks a little better, but it's coming. Oh, just yeah. Anyways, uh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. As always, I want to say hi to Zach Efron and here my kisses from my little baby fingers. Bye, guys.